Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've got these RF433, their 433 megahertz receiver and transmitter units for the M5 Stack Core. They're good for building automation, security alarm, home automation, etc. So let's build a motion detecting alarm like this. In Flow.M5 Stack, they don't have the RF-433 units. So it looks like we're going to have to use the Arduino IDE. Make sure to look for the links down below. Here is the docs for the RF-433. And down here, they have a link to an Arduino example sketch. Now on GitHub, they have this M5 stack repository that has all of the various units and bases and other devices from M5 stack. So there's example sketches for quite a lot of things in that one GitHub repository. And we're also going to want to get this PIR, the motion sensor example sketch, along with the 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver example sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and just download the zip of this entire repository here. Let's save that. Okay, so now I'm going to open that zip file we downloaded. And I'm going to copy the M5 Stack Master folder into my Documents Arduino folder. There we go. Let's go ahead and open that RF433 example sketch. Here we go, M5 Stack Master, Examples, Unit, RF433. Okay, so this is the RF433 example sketch. And this is for both the transmitter and the receiver. And they show that this is using the pins 26 and 36, and I'm just going to peek in on the PAR unit, and you see that 26 and 36 are the B port. Now, normally on the core unit, the B port, you'd have to use DuPont jumpers, but I've gone ahead and added this M5 Go Fire battery bottom to my M5 core unit, so it gives you, here you see there's the A port. Now, I've added that M5 Go Fire Battery Bottom, and that has the C and the B port here. This sketch is both the transmitter and the receiver, depending on whether you leave this Define RX uncommented or commented out. Let's check and make sure we have everything else ready in the Arduino IDE. You want to have the M5 stack URL in the additional board manager URLs under File, Preferences. And in board manager, you want to make sure you've already installed the M5 stack support. Here you can see I'm selecting the M5 core ESP32 unit. You can check and make sure we have the correct serial port. And we're going to go ahead and upload the receiver. Here you see the receiver sketch is already running on this core unit. I'm going to go ahead and switch it off so I can attach the RF433 receiver unit. Okay, plug the Grove cable in here. And then this end of the cable goes into the B port. That's a great addition to the core unit. Okay, so our receiver's ready. Now it's time to prepare the transmitter. So in the sketch, all we have to do is comment out this definition here, and that makes it the transmitter sketch. I'm just checking the COM port. Yep, COM port 5. And we go ahead and upload that. It takes a few minutes, but you see here, the transmitter sketch is loaded. We'll go ahead and power this off. And we'll attach our transmitter unit. Okay, 
Our transmitter is hooked up to the B port on our second core unit. Let's go ahead and test the base functionality of this RF433 example sketch. I'm turning on the transmitter and it says click button A to send data. And the receiver says you have to hook up to the serial port to view data. But when you click the button, it turns the screen green. And when you release the button, it goes back to red. Okay. That's pretty cool. But now I want to mash up the motion sensor. So I'm going back into the M5 stack library here and getting the PIR example sketch. Now this is using the same pins as the transmitter unit. So we're going to have to do something different. I'm going to go back into flow.m5stack or uiflow and we're going to use port C. We need to use pin 16 in our code. Right, pin 16 corresponds with the output from the motion sensor. We're just going to change the references to 36 to 16. There's only two lines in this PRR example sketch where we have to make that adjustment. The pin mode 16 for input and then digital read GPIO pin 16. There's no other include files needed. I'm just going to put these side by side so we can do the mashup quickly here. First we need to insert this pin mode definition inside void setup. Okay, here's void setup. There's other pin mode definitions here, so I'm going to tuck this one underneath those. Copy the code. Going to make a little room for it. There we go. I'm just going to put a little comment there to let me know that's where I made the change. Now down here in void loop, we check if M5 button A was pressed. And we're going to replace that with the code for GPIO pin 16. Let's make a little white space here. And we'll comment out that line. And let's go get this line if digital read GPIO pin 16 equals 1. Great. Paste that in there. Touch up the white space a little bit. That was it. Adding those two lines of code swapped out button A for the PIR, the motion sensor. Now it looks like we're ready to go ahead and upload this code to our core unit. Going to make sure I have the correct COM port. Good, it's still COM5. All right, let's go ahead and upload. There, you see the code is uploaded to the transmitter. Now it has the additional lines of code for the motion sensor unit. I'm just going to go ahead and switch that off. Let's add the motion sensor. I like the packaging for these M5 stack units. It keeps everything real neat in my uh, parts box. There we go. Let's get that Grove cable in there. And this is going to go ahead and plug this into port C on our core unit. I'm going to go ahead and let's turn this on. We're ready to test. Here's the receiver. Switch it on and right away the motion sensor detected motion because my hand was there when I turned the receiver on. Move in front of the motion sensor and the receiver turns green. You got to wait a few seconds and then it goes back to red. Motion sensor green. Then no motion equals red. And motion sensor equals green. We could touch up the interface a little bit on both of these. I just wanted to do a quick example sketch here. And we can see that this is all working great. I hope you enjoyed checking out these RF433 units. And it was cool that we were able to add this PIR, the motion sensor, to this project. Make sure to look for the links down below to the M5 Stack GitHub repository. Give this video a like. 
leave a comment down below. And before you go on to watch more of my M5 stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.